and two half double crochet. And we're just gonna put two around. So we'll end up with 20 half double crochets in this row. I just got a new setup for this tutorial. I cleaned off my plant table so I can actually sit rather than crouch over. So it's much more comfortable and hopefully I can make a better tutorial than my other ones. Okay, so once you do two half double crochets in each stitch, you can count it again if you're not sure if you did enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I actually just, I need to do again. Okay, so now we have 20 and I'm gonna be doing the invisible slip stitch again. And so I'm gonna turn it over, take my hook, put it into the first stitch of that row, put it back into the working loop, pull it through, and then turn it over. You wanna chain one again, and this time you wanna half double crochet one, and then you wanna half double crochet two. So basically you're half double crocheting one and then increasing, half double crocheting one and then increasing. Make sure you have 30 and then do the invisible slip stitch and chain one, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets. So repeat that pattern. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, and then do that around the entire thing and you should end up with 40 stitches.
tried to find my ruler. I actually sat on it and broke it. So this is the next best thing. Um, it's about six and three quarter inches slash, yeah, around that. So I think that's a good size. Instead of increasing, I already did like the slip stitch and chain one. We're just gonna put one in every stitch. So just crocheting around. And we're gonna crochet in around for the next seven to eight rows based on how deep you want your hat to be. So I'm just gonna speed this part up because it's kind of boring because it's the same thing over and over again. So just to clarify, one half double crochet
once you finish that, flip over, slip stitch. And then put it into that loop, pull it through, chain one. Okay, now we're gonna make the bulk of the brim. And I like to make this wavy, but if you don't wanna make it wavy, don't do this. So if you don't wanna make it wavy, uh, basically if you stopped at like six half double crochets and then increase, at this part you'll wanna do seven half double crochets and increase. Um, but I'm gonna do the wavy part, so I'm just gonna do one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and increase. So we're gonna do two half double crochets and then an increase. And do this around the entire hat. Okay, and then once you're done that, slip stitch, and then chain one. And so for the next two or three rows, depending on how thick you want your brim, you're going to be doing the exact same thing. So half double crochet two, and then an increase. And I'll meet you back when I finish my brim. So um, I just finished the brim, and if you look, I think it's wide enough. But you can also do another row just using the same pattern if you want. And I'm just going to finish it off. So we have a loop here. Um, I already did the slip stitch. And then just pull it through. Um, cut like three to four inches of yarn left. Just pull it. And there we go. These two threads, you just wanna weave it in along this seam. Now we're going to move on to the strawberry stem. I'm going to be using two rolls cause I'm just gonna combine them together cause I think this yarn is a bit thin. So I'm going to be using two strands. We're going to start off with a magic ring. And then we're going to single crochet six. And then you're going to pull it tight and then slip stitch into the first stitch. This part's kind of tricky. You gotta get it in there. So slip stitch. And then we're going to be chaining one and then single crochet around again. We did five rounds of just six single crochets, and then I slip stitched into the first. I slip stitched into the first stitch again, and now we're going to chain eleven. So one, two, three, four, five. 
I messed up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to now go down the chain and we're making the leaves of the stem now. So we're going to slip stitch, then two, oh, then a single crochet, then two half double crochets, three double crochets, Then one, oh, ah, this twist it. Two half double crochets. Then one single crochet. And now you're back at the start, so we need to make the other side of the leaf. So what I like to do is I like to just like stick my hook back in to that stitch we slip stitched into in the beginning. This part's kind of messy, it doesn't have to be perfect. So just do it so you can flip to the other side basically. And then you're going to single crochet into the first stitch. Then two half double crochets. Three double crochets. two half double crochets stitch into it again and then flip it so you're on the other side of the leaf and repeat that so one single crochet oh my into that first stitch two half double crochets three double crochets one, two, 
three. And then two half double crochets. Uh, one single crochet and then one slip stitch. slip stitch then I like to go into that very first stitch at the top right there and slip stitch into that one so I have a nice pointy leaf and this yarn over pull cut off the excess yarn pull it through and you have a nice pointy leaf so I've made two leaves so far now and I'm just going to make three more off camera and we'll come back and sew it to the strawberry hat. So I just finished the stem and I'm gonna be sewing it onto the hat now. Um, I just cut a long piece of green yarn and I have a yarn needle. So I'm just going to thread that through. And I know there's like a lot of threads, but I'm kind of lazy and I, I'll just do it later. We have to like tuck it in, but yeah. So as you can see, the back of this is like a complete mess. So you can just stick your yarn in anywhere basically. And then I'm just going to tie it like a knot three times to secure it to the piece. Two times is enough. Okay, and all the string and like all the yarn in the middle, I'm just going to like stab it, stab it into the middle to just, you know, get rid of all that.
And I like to like, if you see this part, I like to thread the needle through these stitches only on the back side of the stitches to kind of hide the white. This is a lot more work, but I think in the end it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, just like thread it through. strawberry seeds onto the hat and it's finally finished you can weave in all the ends as you like i kind of just left it because it's just for me but just take a yarn needle and just sew it into the stitches but after that you're basically done so i hope you are happy with your new strawberry bucket hat i'll show you what it looks like on me right now thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you this is what it looks like on this one's a bit big for my head. I made this a large, but you're just gonna wanna fix it a little bit. If you have Instagram or TikTok, make sure that you tag me at Loop by Ally so I can see all your creations. Thank you so much for watching and see you on Wednesday. Bye.